spirit of familiarity thing can get all so comfortable for us. But you have to look back at I come to those pictures in the hallway and see God has brought this church a mighty long way. Amen. Uh, amen goes right there. There's a word from the Lord today. I feel like I've gotten my work out. In the book of Romans chapter 8, I don't subscribe to this idea anymore that you can just sit there and look like a statue and praise God. I, I used to say people praise God in different ways. I'm okay with that. But if God has done anything for you, you ought to show some sign. It's not enough to be grateful. You ought to find a way to show some gratitude. In fact, if you are a believer, you ought to have an attitude of gratitude. Every time you think about it, it ought to make you shout. Now, I'm going to say it because i got a, a rush spirit in here. Uh, if you can only praise God in the church, there's something wrong with your religion. Sometimes you got to give God a car praise. Driving down the street, your favorite song come up. It'll make you almost wreck your car. I wish I had some help. Sometimes you ought to be washing the dishes and just... Think about how good it is. And joy go fly all over the room. Yeah, all by yourself, you ought to give him praise. You ought to need an urchin just driving down the street or walking through the house. You need somebody to come fan you. Because if you're thoughtful, it'll make you thankful. Uh, and the reason most folk in church are thankful is because they're not thoughtful. But all you got to do is think about the goodness of Jesus. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm trying to get somebody to get my street. And all that is done for you. Yeah. They all that escort you out the building. Say, you wow. disrupting, sir. Because yeah. I know I'm not the only one. Somebody in here God's been good to. Yeah. In fact, I'm honored to stand behind this sacred desk one more time. Oftentimes I stand here and ask God, why me? Certainly, I didn't deserve to be here. All right. If the devil had it his way, I'd be taken out a long time. Right? Right. So since I'm here, I might as well pray. Right. I could have been somewhere served, 1129. And I ain't by myself. Amen. You all look at the neighbor and say, since you're here, you might as well pray. I just look on and make somebody mad. And some of y'all are too cute to pray. There's a cute folk in this. For the good of them that love God, 
to them who are the call according to his purpose. I want to talk about grow up enough to call bad stuff good. Growing up enough to call bad stuff good. Let's pray. Father, we thank you today for this word in these next few fleeting minutes. I ask you to speak in this place. Let us not leave like we came. Speak now. Bless this cast in this church. Bless Mount Olive. Bless this fellowship. We pray that you get the glory. Don't let anybody be hindered by my personality. But let them look past me and see you. And as I take my seat, I'll be ever so careful. Give your name the praise, honor, and glory. For you alone are worthy of it. In Christ Jesus' name, if you know him and love him, say amen. 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 Seats in the presence of the Lord. I need to first suggest to you, uh, in addition to losing about 115 pounds, I've also been through a lot of other changes. All right. Since I've last seen you, one of my mothers came up to me. Uh, kind of upset two Sundays ago and uh, said to me, Pastor, what's your problem? I said, what do you mean, mother? She said, every Sunday you look younger. <laughs> she was serious. And, and I had to respond to her by saying, well, only thing I can say for all of them is I've been, I, look, I look better than what I've been through. I, like I need to report to you, New Hope, that not only am I alive and well, but my knowledge is live and well, but most of the rumors are true. You know how folk talk. We've been through storm. Let me go on and be honest and transparent for just a minute. Some faces you saw last year, you don't see up there now. Because what I've learned is everybody can't go where you go. And some folks, you got to love them and leave them at home. But you can't let nobody 